Hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, today by request we are going to go over Arrow by Goose uh, off the Drip Field album. Um, really, really cool song. I think I listened to it a couple times before um, the request, but I hadn't listened to it like intently until I got that request. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a very, very cool song. Um, so we're going to break down uh, the, the riff and uh, the riff and the chords and all that good stuff. Uh, if you are new here, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications. I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, and if you are returning, and you already know, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, guys, so uh, Arrow starts off on this little riff here. Okay. Um, now, I think listening to the album, listening to um, most of them, actually, when the band's playing it, they will start with, it's more of a, lead line version of that. Uh, but I think playing it by yourself, I like to play that riff. So um, start here with the low E string, second fret. And then we're gonna bar the second fret. We'll hit the G, B, and E. Okay. Then we'll go to the fourth fret here of um, the D string. And we'll keep our bar, and we'll go back to the bar here on the second. Uh, but now we're hitting the um, the D, the G, and the B. So, and then from there, um, we'll hit those same strings, but now barring the fourth fret. So. Try to keep in mind with the rhythm and timing of that. So the first time you, you hold that a little bit, um, that fourth right here. And the second time you go through it quickly to get back. So. Um, so you play through that, I believe it's four times or so. And last time through, um, we'll get this walk down here. Okay. And that's just, uh, sorry, <laughs> just low E string, uh, second, fourth, fifth, sixth. And that leads you into, uh, leads you into the verse, which is, uh, just a, just a B to an A. So. So when you first start playing that, um, I think generally there, uh, someone's kind of soloing underneath it. All right. So when I first started playing, first start playing those chords, uh, I like to throw, I like to throw this hammer in there because it actually sounds like the lyrics. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm doing here. So the B, we're just you know. Uh, Barring, barring seventh fret here. Um, I am, so I play it, and then I will take my pinky finger and hammer it onto the ninth fret here of the G. And from there I'll go straight to the A, so. And again, I'm just doing that to 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 kind of get to get a little bit of a melody while just playing the chords, which I think is actually really cool to be able to do. Uh, so the rhythm I'm doing there um, on that A, so I'm going down, up, down, up, slide to the B. So again, real quick here. Okay, 
Um, and then just when you're playing normal, normal uh, through the verse. So again, just bouncing back and forth between that uh, that B and A. Um, so go through the verse and then back to the riff. Uh, and again, riff will uh, the riff will end on that walk down again. And this time we go into the uh, the mellow part of the tune. So we have a D. To an A, to a B minor seven, and uh, the way I'm playing that, uh, I've got my thumb here on the uh, low E on the seventh fret, and then barring the seventh here from the D to the E. Um, if if that stretch, you know, if that is not something that's comfortable, you can play it like this as well. So barring your seventh fret and middle finger on the ninth of the A. You can play it that way also. Um, so again, we got the D to the A. That B minor seven. Um, and to this E here. Um, and and this is the this is the way that uh, I definitely see Rick playing this, he plays the E and D like this a lot. He really likes likes that shape. Uh, it is a really cool shape. Um, it's a little tricky and a little stretchy. Um, so if you you know if you can't quite make that stretch, you can you can play any any version of E is going to be fine here. But I do believe this is the one he is playing. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you borrow that fourth fret. Middle finger goes to the fifth fret here on that B. Uh, ring finger goes to the 6th of the D, and pinky is 7th of the A. So that's your E. So we've got a D, to that A, B minor 7, E. And this, uh, we'll go through this part twice. And it's really mellow and chill. And then um, you just your D here. So now we're so now with the second part of this is uh, so D F sharp minor E. And again, if these are too stretchy, you can definitely play the regular chords. It's going to be fine. I think they get that four times. And then you have the jam, uh, which starts um, with that riff again. So. That is it uh, for this song. It's a really, really fun song. I hope this helps you guys out. Please leave me feedback, comments below.